Okay, so the first thing you need to understand is why even do single cell sequencing in the first place? The answer is pretty straightforward. You have multiple cell types within a single tissue. For example, here I'm just showing the lung, but even within a small subsection of the lung, you would have multiple different cell types. So if you did just bulk RNA-seq, you wouldn't be able to differentiate the transcriptional changes between individual cell types. So obviously you want to do single cell sequencing on an in vitro culture that only contained one cell type. So just a very brief crash course into the actual methodology of single cell sequencing. I'm just showing 10x droplet based single cell sequencing here because it's one of the most popular methods. But basically you have these beads that have known barcodes attached to them and you squirt them through these microfluidics with your cells and they get partitioned into little droplets. So your cell is in an individual droplet with one of these barcoded beads. And since they're suspended in oil, they don't recombine. And then you can process them individually in downstream reactions. And in the end, you have a library that looks like this. The two most important features being the 10x barcode, which is just a string of known nucleotides, which can identify which cell this read came from. And then you have the UMI, which is a unique molecular identifier. So it's another barcode that's not specific to an individual cell, but it gets amplified in the PCR steps so that you can differentiate between PCR duplicates and actual gene copies. So you really only care about these two parts and then your sequence. The rest is just stuff you really don't need to think about much. So in the end, you have a bunch of reads with cell barcodes, molecular barcodes, and you can tell which cells they came from. And then when you process the reads in something like Cell Ranger, all the output really is is a count matrix. You can think of each column being the data from an individual cell and each row being the data from an individual gene and the entries just being the number of UMI. And then you can process this further. And here I'm just showing the quintessential single cell Tisney plot where cells with similar transcriptional profiles get grouped together. So each dot represents a single individual cell and you can programmatically cluster them together and say that they come from an individual cell type. That's pretty much the basics of single cell sequencing. You can see what is unique about a single individual cluster transcriptionally, or you can compare the individual cell types from this sample to another sample and a bunch of other things.